5 Misconceptions Everybody Believes About Exploiters in Phantom Forces 1. All exploiters have high kill-death ratios. Yeah, well so do I if the match goes my way. The reason why exploiters don't rage hack and fly around the map is because if used correctly, the vote kick system, despite the nerfs, does its job. Cheaters want to do as much damage to the game as possible before they are sentenced to death, so what they do is pretend as best as they can to be legit, they are called passive cheaters. I've encountered many, exposed many, and dominated many more. You'd be surprised how many passive cheaters turn everything on once an experienced player figures them out. Once they've been exposed, they'll turn everything on to destroy the lobby before they are vote kicked. Back on topic, if not exposed, an exploiter's KDR could be high, normal, or even negative. I've played against all three. This misconception that most people believe, that exploiters can get hundreds of kills and never die is an absolute lie. People with high match kill death ratios tend to die once for every 10 kills they get. When you go for a 100 kill challenge as a legit player, at least 10% of your kills are reflected as deaths because of Phantom Force's quick time to kill. Exploiters are also easy to kill in Phantom Forces despite potentially aimbotting or wall hacking. The person behind the keyboard and mouse still has to cognitively control their peripherals to win the gunfights. Most cheaters I play against are slower than me. That's why I win a lot of gunfights against them. 2. Every cheater is a low rank. You're actually sort of correct about this one. Most cheaters are low ranks, only because the average lifespan of an exploiter's account is level 50, perhaps because they understand how boring it must be getting vote kicked in almost every match. It is a rarity to find cheaters above rank 50, twice as rare over level 100, and almost impossible to find over rank 150. You'd have an easier time finding a living specimen of the woolly mammoth. However, the possibility of finding a high-ranked exploiter is not off the table. Somebody else on the internet probably has a video of a centenarian-ranked exploiter cutting everybody up like they just don't give a shit. High-ranked exploiters are actually less likely to be noticeable, so there may be countless numbers that I've played against that I don't know about. This is why I religiously check the kill feeds, kill cams, and scoreboards. Remember, just like in a court of law, everybody is innocent until proven guilty. Don't false vote kick. If I was a career cheater in any game, Phantom Forces is not one of those games. Other games like CSGO, and Call of Duty, where anti-cheat does almost nothing, and players can't fight back, are more compelling to cheat in. Phantom Forces has the vote kick system, and despite its imperfections and misuse, I would be wasting my life trying to farm kills in that game. Phantom Forces also has 5 better players for every 1 exploiter in every server. That leads us to the next misconception. 3. Cheaters are good at Phantom Forces, know how to play, and are better than most players, or at least on their mains. This logic is stupid on its face. That's like saying doping is a legitimate strategy in MMA, or Russia produces fair Olympic teams, or that a biological man can play a fair physical contest against a biological woman. You're just the pot calling the kettle black. People who are truly good at phantom forces, never ever cheat, not even on alts. You can't be good at a game that you don't enjoy at its core. If you just want to click your mouse and nuke the lobby, again and again all you want is an orgasm at the cost of every other player. Good players never get erections in the heat of battle, maybe if they watch the replay. Good players instead learn the movement, aim mechanics, game weapon slash attachment combos, and perform at their natural best. Personal achievement is always better than personal satisfaction. I never, ever said I was good at Phantom Forces. I never go for high kill gameplays as a natural sniper. I never win every match and rank up as fast as people like Oscar who dedicate lots of effort to this game. So I never put myself over any other legitimate player. However, 
if I have to play against a cheater, that's when I receive the desire to win, destroy, kill, and dominate. I know I'm better than everybody who cheats against me, because I never cheat and enjoy the game as it is. How I make easy work against most cheaters I play against is a topic for another video. Simply, I'm not good at phantom forces or better than the next player, but I am 100% better than every goddamn exploiter because they are not even playing phantom forces. Exploiters care about winning the objective. This is a flat out lie. Phantom forces never keeps track of player wins and losses. The XP earn rate for a match victory is so underwhelming and unrewarding that nobody cares about the objective most of the time. Most people in the lobby want to win, but not the exploiters. Exploiters only feel like playing if the enemy team trash talks them or declares that they will ultimately win the objective. If not their egos get poked at, an exploiter will never care about winning or losing, so regarding that, neither do I. How do you beat cheaters at phantom forces then? Never become them, successfully vote kick them, or in my case, win gunfights against them. Get more kills on them than they get on you. That blatantly proves how weak they are. How easily you can kill them despite them cheating against you. It doesn't matter if you kill them from across the map with a sniper, up close and personal with a melee, camping in a corner with a shotgun, or with a random grenade. Use any strategy, tool, weapon, and function of the actual game with your own skills and ability to gain this outcome to prove how weak these exploiters are against you. It doesn't matter what margin the lead is, whether you have two kills on an aimbotter that has one kill on you, whether it's an absolute war that goes 12 to 7 in favor of you, like my last video that you cry and complain about. Or whether it's an outright stomp where the aimbotter would be lucky to inflict damage on you, because you're killing them every time. The biggest reward in Phantom Forces is a victory against an exploiter, in terms of gunfights. This is what I'm famous, and infamous for. 1. Roblox Phantom Forces is a hard game to cheat in and easy to get banned in. That's fucking bullshit, it doesn't matter what Bifron does to Roblox. Because its engine is basic, heavily studied, and because a majority of its player base will always consist of a demographic that is younger and more immature than Fortnite. 5% of all Roblox players everywhere, through the game's almost 20 years of existence, will be exploiters. You can't name a game that is easier to cheat in than Roblox, most cheats are free and open source but are obviously risky to download due to malware. There are options to buy professional cheats that are safe to use, but these are obviously more expensive cash grabs than the Robux conversion rates. On top of that, no cheater gets punished. Most cheaters are scared of having all of their gear, pre-buys, and cosmetics deleted as a result of constant cheating, but little do they know, there is nothing to be afraid of. Cheaters never get banned, and if they do, their entitled mentality parents excuse their actions because their children are obviously immature. Roblox can't even sue cheat developers as most of them make at least a couple of bucks before they grow a single pubic hair. You can't sue children in a court of law, Epic Games found that out the hard way. If the exploiter base had faith that they'd never get banned or punished by Roblox, the game would have been dead a decade ago. The only solution to dealing with cheaters in this game is to be a better player who doesn't cheat. That's the only thing I try to prove in Phantom Forces. That's why I will always have a majority of haters in my comments who side with exploiters. Nobody does what I do, and I don't care if you hate me for it. That's my slogan anyways. Thanks for listening to this video. I love you when you hate me.